Hi, my name is Holly Jackson, and today we're going to be exploring Awe App. Awe App is an application that allows you to collaboratively work on a whiteboard space. So we're going to go ahead and get started by going to aweapp.com, A-W-W-A-P-P.com. Once you're there, you'll see that there is a getting started button right away. So you don't have to set up an account to start using all app, which is a feature that I really enjoy. So I'm going to click on start drawing. Now you can see that I can do anything you could do on a whiteboard here. So I can draw. Um, as you work down through here, you can select your drawing and move it around. You see that you get some options for a trash can, copying that, pasting it, duplicating it. So if you made something spectacular, you could do that. You can change your color here. You can change your tool. So if you wanted to use a highlighter, also change the size of your um, highlighter. So if you need it to be larger, your eraser, you can cut and you can also clear things. So if you want to just clear the page, you can do that as well. You also have the options of making shapes and text. You have lots of formatting features, so you can change your formatting there. And then lastly, you can add post-it notes, which are just a cute factor to me. Um, but if you had something here, that you wanted to add, you could do that. You can also upload images, PDFs, and PowerPoints. So this becomes really powerful um, when you think about the fact that your students could put post-it notes next to your PDF or be able to annotate on it. And if you're using a touchscreen device like a Chromebook or an iPad, you can also use a stylus to be able to draw and write on things. So that's something to keep in mind. You also can paste a URL onto the AW board. All right, so that's just some of the tools that you have over here on the left-hand side. You can make multiple pages. You can zoom in or zoom out. Um, what I like about this is it's an, a sort of infinite space, so you can just kind of move it around um, and see that this goes on forever and ever. Um, undo that. All right, so that's just a little bit about the tools that you have here. Um, so it says this board is not saved. I can save my board, I can duplicate it, I can delete it. They also have some really valuable templates. So that's something that I think you should keep in mind that if you go to the templates, you can see they have lots of things that you can use um, for education. So you have, there's your um, coordinate plane. Um, there's also brainstorming ones, so there's your KWL chart. So that's something to keep in mind that you can use those as well. All right, one of the, my favorite features of Awe App is the fact that you can collaborate on the board. So you can add collaborators by tapping on the little plus with the human. Um, you can just give this link to students in Google Classroom. You can also invite by email or you can embed it on your website. So if you use Weebly or Google Sites for your class website, you can embed a board on there. You can allow everyone to view it, just kind of like a Google Doc. Um, you can share a copy, or you can allow everyone to edit. So this is a great feature. You also can get a QR code, so you can post this around the classroom if you want students to use QR codes. There's lots of things that you can do with this. Also, when you're finished, let me go ahead and save my board. Oh, it saves automatically. I can name it up here. I can also export it when I'm finished as a PDF or as an image. So you can see where this could be very powerful if um, students were working on something and then they you wanted them to turn it in. Um, they could export it as a PDF or an image and turn it into you in Google Classroom. You can sign up, and there are features there that you can use, um, but you don't need to. Um, one nice thing about this is that you can just share that link with, with people, and um, that's how they can work on it and write on it. So if you want to be able to save them and access them later, I would recommend signing up with the free version of our app. 
So that is a brief um, getting started tutorial for Awe app. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.